Hey guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to Ironmind Blocks. So last night I was playing with a cool program and it is a Bitcoin vanity generator. Um, so I was playing around with it last night and I thought it was quite cool and quite interesting. So I thought I'd uh, make a short video uh, just to um, show you what it's all about and um, how you can create your own Bitcoin vanity address. So let's take a look on screen and I'll explain all the bits that I was playing with, um, like I say, last night. So a Bitcoin vanity address, what is it? So it creates a legacy address. So your legacy Bitcoin address will always start with a one and then you'll normally get a string of numbers. But as you can see on screen, what you can do is you can kind of create a custom starting sequence. So it will still start with one, but then we can add in a series of numbers or letters into this sort of starting part here. And um, it basically creates a vanity or nickname type address. So it's quite cool if you want to create your own Bitcoin address and want to add a little bit of personalization. So a lot of people do it with card number plates and things like that. So this is a way that you can personalize and create your own personalized Bitcoin address. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. There's a couple of different ways to do it and I'll obviously make it nice and simple for you. So just to go on a little bit more about the types of addresses that you can create it, a lot of these are a lot more complicated and you can do all sorts of different kind of things. So this is like the, um, the Bitcoin Vanity Hall of Fame and you can see this person here has got kind of the, the longest uh, word. So it's for a 13 character word. The more complicated the word or sequence, the longer it takes to find them. So you want to keep them quite simple. Around about five or six characters is um, kind of reasonable for most people. Um, but that's just kind of uh, some of the things that you can do. There's a lot more advanced stuff, but I'm going to keep this um, quite simple. Uh, just for ideas, I've got another link here. So you can kind of see the uh, things that people are looking for. So one base, uh, one beyond one biffer, all sorts of things uh, like that. So you can get an idea of what you're after. So you can use names or places, all sorts of different things. So how to do it is um, a couple of different ways and I'll show you the easiest ways. One is via a website. Uh, so it's called bitcoinvanitygen.com. Um, I've used it and tested it. Um, it. Took about a day to get my result. So I just was searching for um, robot. Um, I didn't specify a case. If you specify a case, um, I think it costs money depending on exactly how many characters you have. So actually I just used robot like that just to see how long it would take and uh, test the service. So it gives you an example of what the address will look like. You select generate and then you have to enter a email address. Um, it takes between, I say, one to 24 hours, depending on exactly the difficulty. They will email you a special encrypted link and it takes you, you can then sort of um, see your address, see the private key, and it also has the option to kind of like print out a nice looking wallet. So if you're looking for a super simple option, then use this website. If you're looking for something a bit more advanced with a bit more customization and also the option to create your uh, your vanity address but on your own system so something that you can secure uh, there's this way is a better way to do it so we're going to use this vanity uh, gen creator so it's by sam r7 and this is uh, the uh, bitcoin talk thread for it i'll put all the links and everything that you need in the video description to get started uh, you can download windows binaries you can use that link there which is what i'll use for for the demonstration of this video. So I'll show you the Windows uh, demonstration. I know you guys love my Windows videos. You can also download it and build it if you're more interested in using it on a, a Linux machine. Further down, it's got lots of different options, commands. It also tells you the um, time scale for generating your uh, your vanity addresses. Like I say, the more complicated, the longer it will take. Um, I think on the wiki, this gives you a good idea of how long it can take. So if you've just got, so 1B, or effectively it's two characters, it will take you a second. Further down, if you're looking sort of for about five characters, it takes you a couple of hours. Six characters, you know, then it's a day a week. And for each character, it kind of gets more and more complicated. The other thing as well is if you add in, if your um, search pattern is case sensitive, it will take much longer as well. So if you're not so fussed about the case, um, it's, it's basically much faster and quicker and easier to find. So we have uh, downloaded the uh, program, so it's the vanity generator. So now if I go to my downloads folder, uh, you can see I've actually already extracted So you right click and you extract it to the folder. You can see I've already done that. Then you wanna use the Windows key and the R key. 
and then you want to type cmd if you haven't done so already click ok that opens up a nice new command window now inside there is two there's actually a couple of different um, vanity generators. The one that I've got the best results with is this Vanity Gen 64. So it's a 64 bit CPU vanity generator. There is also a um, an OpenCL vanity generator, but I couldn't get it to work on my video card. I don't know. I think it's just the driver problem um, and I didn't really look into it very much more. So if you're looking for better results and you have a, a graphics card, then try the OCL vanity gen rather than just the Van Gen 64. But if you want to use the program, you can drag this across into your command window. And then to use it, there's a couple of different commands that you can use. So firstly, you can set the number of threads that you want to use. So I'm going to use three threads, so hopefully it doesn't mess up this recording. Then you can use dash V. So that sets it in verbose mode. So you'll get basically a little bit more information on your output. And then you can use dash I. So dash I means you're not looking for a case sensitive um, search string then you, you always have to start with number one and then the search thing that we look for I'll just give you an example so we'll do a four digit search string so we're going to be looking for one beer and then we press enter and you can see that literally took no time at all so that has uh, completed it's actually much faster than uh, I expected but uh, just to give you a little bit more information about it so the search passion was one beer. We've got the public hex key at the top there. Then we've got the private key in hex. And then further down the bottom, we've got the address that it found. So you can see it's kind of mixed up case. It's capital B, capital E, lowercase e, then an R. So that's probably not really a good find. You can, you can use the different options. It's kind of all um, in that list, but you can kind of search for multiple different options and then you kind of pick the best one for you. And we've also got the private key there. So you later on use that private key if you wanted to import this address into um, like a blockchain.info address or if you've got a Bitcoin Core um, wallet, you can use that private key to import your address. So let's um, we'll do it again. If we press the up arrow, we can kind of take another look. So this time we'll do uh, beer X just to give you an example of um, how long it will take for extra characters and enter. So we're using three threads and we are producing uh, 820 something thousand keys per second. So if we use it with four threads, it's about 1.3 million keys a second. You can see, so that's quite a nice one there. We've got, it's all uppercase. So, and also the private key, but um, yeah, that's quite a nice find there, I think. So it's one beer, all uppercase, X, Dex. So that's quite a nice um, address find. Um, so that's how it works and that's how you create your uh, Bitcoin vanity addresses. Okay guys, so I'm gonna leave it there. I don't want this video to go on too long. There's lots more you can do with the vanity address uh, program. You can create all sorts of different kinds of things, um, but that's just kind of a quick overview of how to use it and what results you can get. So thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you did like this video. If you did like it, let me know in the comments, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already and all of that good stuff. So till next time, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.